Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Howdy channel. Okay, I am picking this story up after seeing it highlighted on Geeks and Gamers and Jello Flash, I guess, did it first. But I'm going to cover it from an entirely different angle than those channels, as you would expect from this channel. Okay, so what happened? This young lady, yes, this is a girl, she was dressed up as a stormtrooper for her job at the Coco Vanilla Galactic Cantina that celebrates Marvel and Star Wars. Because you know what? Somebody's got to. And it was May the 4th, and that was some invented holiday by Disney to do May the 4th be with you. Whatever. They turned Star Wars into a joke. Well, this is no laughing matter what happened to this poor young lady. Star Wars Day promotion goes awry after LPS. That's, um... How do you pronounce this? Lethbridge in Alberta, Canada. Arrest an employee in a stormtrooper costume. As if that were all that happened. Uh, May the 4th is widely known among fans of the sci-fi series of Star Wars Day. And thus, its local business, themed around the franchise, wanted to put on a promotion to celebrate it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. So, Coco Vanilla Galactic Cantina owner Bradley Whalen told the LNN that it very quickly went off the rails and put one of their employees in serious danger. No kidding serious danger. We had the music playing in the parking lot. We had one of our staff dress up as a stormtrooper, kind of waving to people, you know, and walking up and down the road. We had people stopping by and getting pictures with a stormtrooper. And we even put a couple of promotions in the restaurant to entice people to come in. The female employee arrived at work at 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday the 4th. Then she went out in full costume around 20 minutes later. Seems pretty innocent enough. He believes that some members of the public must have seen her brandishing a plastic toy blaster, believing it was a real gun, and phoned police. Keep in mind, in Canada, you're not allowed to own guns. But, like we say in America, if you outlaw guns, the only people that have guns are bad guys and cops, because she didn't have a gun. She had a toy replica piece of plastic. Okay, so, that they phoned the police. Lethbridge Police, LPS, Inspector Jason Walper says they got two 911 calls regarding the firearms complaint near the business on 13th Street. Okay, at approximately 11.20, so she's been out there a while now. Three police cruisers arrived and a truck followed shortly thereafter. I'm going to show you some of the video here so you can see her and this guy's bugging her and he's got this this guy's got his own issues i mean yeah i'm not going to play the sound because he's 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 he doesn't mind dropping words that have too many letters that start with f okay too many words to start with okay so he tells her to march and she's like oh my god who is this guy he's harassing me so she starts marching because seriously what else is she going to do you can see the business is, is not really thriving, so she's doing the best she can. And, you know, honestly, she doesn't look that intimidating for a stormtrooper. I believe the expression is kind of short for a stormtrooper, aren't you? Well, anyways, this dude drives back later on, and he sees... He's... he's hey, what is this? Go away. I'm working here. He sees the cop truck, and then he sees... Did I skip it? Oh, I don't mean to skip it. Okay, we gotta go back because I want you to see that she drops the gun. See? She's dropped the gun. She's got her hands up. Then, according to the story down below, they wanted her to kneel. Folks, you kind of can't kneel in a stormtrooper outfit. You can see she's trying to do it. She's yelling at them, I can't do it. I know this because it's in the story down below. Okay, it's not in the dialogue. And then he's, he's like, okay, he wants to come out and be a part of the story. She finally gets down, probably ruins the costume, but she doesn't want to die. And since this guy's got a shotgun pointed at her, he's, you know, she's getting a little nervous. There's her boss. He's yelling, it's a toy gun. They slam her to the ground. How do you know they slam her to the ground? Because we're going to see her blood later on. And he's yelling, you get back, you get back. He's like, dude, she's an employee. It's a toy gun. Uh, and then, yeah. So... Well, let's see what it says down here. In the video, Waylon came outside after hearing the officers shouting at the employee. He can be heard telling the officers that it's the girl in the costume. Oh, and she starts wailing and crying. If you want to check out his video, you can. It's it's really kind of sad because you don't want to hear a girl screaming in fear. And she's terrified they're going to kill her. And I don't 
blame her actually because boy you know you're in trouble when the people are supporting a stormtrooper instead of the cops and they're in trouble okay so everybody's telling them it's a toy gun they pick it up and discover it's a toy gun and they still slam her down put the handcuffs on her according to the headline they arrest her police officers had guns drawn point did at my employee. They were yelling at her to put the gun down, so she threw the plastic gun on the ground. At that point is when I came out, and is when she was on her knees, kneeling down on the ground. The police had already checked and seen the gun was plastic, so they already knew there wasn't an issue or a risk here. And, you know, police are supposed to be trained in being observational. Could they not see the gigantic billboard? that I showed you at the beginning that says Cantina, Star Wars, and Marvel? How out of touch do you have to be with your community, police officers, to not know what's, what you're even patrolling? This is just, it's bad policing. So, let's go down and look at the pictures. These are graphics, so I am warning you in advance. So you can see her there. Sorry, that's just not an intimidating figure. Which do you think is scarier, that or that? That's not the point. The point is the cops shouldn't have been in that. There's her costume. You see the boots and you see not friendly towards the knees. And there's the toy gun from Star Wars. Again, you can't have guns in Canada. And there's, there's her blood from being slammed down. That's a lot of blood, by the way. So there's that. Now, I told you I was going to do this in a different way. They're doing it from a Star Wars angle and Disney and like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm going to go a different route. I'm going to show you some history. This is what happened in Canada. This is from yesterday. In America, what can you expect? Well, this is Douglas Irby. Not his best picture, by the way. And this was back in 2010. Oh, I'm going to go back there. Because for some of us, it's not that long ago. Douglas Irby was a 35-year... I did say was. A little foreshadowing there. Douglas Irby was a 35-year-old white man who was shot and killed by police Sunday, December 12th, uh, in... East Ocean Boulevard in Long Beach, California, according to the LA Coroner's Office. Two Long Beach police officers responded to a 911 call at 440 from a neighbor. There goes those pesky 911 calls. They've got a gun! They've got a gun! He didn't have a gun. She didn't have a gun. Stormtrooper didn't have a gun. She had a toy gun. He didn't even have that. According to the 911 reports, it was a man holding a six shooter that looked like an antique gun. The officers had a position of cover and were observing the suspect while officers were en route, said Sergeant Dina Zapinski, a spokeswoman for the Long Beach Police Department. Zapinski said Zerby was in a seated position. He's sitting on the freaking stairs at his friend's house. He'd gotten liquored up, so he decided, I'm just going to kick it, sober up, and then I'll go home. And while he's sitting there, he plays with a black pistol grip don't you love that? Water nozzle with a metal tip, she said. It's a freaking garden hose squirter. Pistol grip? No, it's a garden hose squirter. He was shot in the torso with a shotgun and a handgun. Then handcuffed what was left of him, Zapinski said. He died on the scene. Do you think? They turned him into Swiss cheese. I don't know if this is going to say it or not. I know this case pretty well. They never addressed him. When they set up, they set up a block away. They never called his attention. They just turned him into Swiss cheese. They never, he never knew what hit him. Literally never knew what hit him. He's just sitting there on the bed, and he's, he meets his maker. The cops, of course there was a hearing. None of the cops were punished. None of the cops were found to be in the wrong. They sued them in civil court, in other words, not criminal court, the family won, they got a couple of million dollars, but as the sister wisely put, don't want the money, I want my brother, he was only 35, he didn't do anything wrong, he's sitting on the, he's sitting down, sobering up, I'm sorry, that's what you're supposed to do when you get liquored up, is, is, you're supposed, and if it wasn't liquored up, he got inebriated, he, he was sobering up, he made the right choice. And the nosy neighbors, and this is what happens if you live in a state where you're not allowed to carry guns. Because guess what? If you're allowed to carry guns, like in Arizona and Texas, nobody's going to freak out. And so innocent people don't die from the good guys. You know, the cops. Wink, wink. 
Our brother was killed for no reason, she said. Yeah, the sister took it ridiculously hard, and I, I totally don't blame her. We're outraged. You can't get drunk in the city of Long Beach and not get shot? You're trying to do the responsible thing and not drive, and you get shot? And, and not just kind of shot. Handgun and shotgun. They turned him into Swiss cheese. I've seen the autopsy pictures. Is that standard protocol? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? The cops didn't get in trouble. Well, let me rephrase that. The cops didn't get punished. And their boss, who was the police chief of Long Beach, well, guess what happened to him? Where are they now? He got promoted to become the L.A. Sheriff. He ran for office, again, an L.A. Sheriff, and he, he won. Fortunately, he was kicked out not too long after, but the fact that he got promoted. So you have this poor young lady getting harassed, beat up, bloodied all over for reasons that, I'm sorry, just don't make sense. A good cop would see, that says Star Wars. That says Galactic. That looks like a spacesuit. Even if you don't know Star Wars, that looks like a spacesuit. And it shouldn't take you but two or three seconds to recognize the gun's not real and just let it go. But they don't. They didn't even talk to him. They didn't even talk to him. They were down the street. They got behind the, the doors of their cop car. They, he never saw them and turned him into Swiss cheese. Oh, but we're not done. I told you I was going to do this from a different angle. There's, there's more. Police officer who shot caregiver of a man with autism was found guilty of negligence. So, at least in this particular case, and this one's much more recent. This is from last year. This is 2019. Okay. So, if you haven't seen this one, I'm going to show this video clip because... It's, oh my God, it's heartbreaking. Why did you shoot me? Recovering from a gunshot wound to the leg in a North Miami, Florida hospital, Charles Kinsey says he thought he was doing everything right. Please approach him Monday afternoon. Because I'm not going to, as long as I got my hands up, they're not going to shoot me. This is what I'm thinking. They're not going to shoot me. Why? The incident began while Kinsey, a therapist, was trying to calm an autistic man in the middle of the street. The moments before the shooting are recorded on cell phone. Oh man, do I not know how to do this stuff? Oh my gosh. So you can see, here's this fellow with autism. He's the counselor. Cops tell him to lay down, put his arms out, so he does. And we already seen where he's at when they did the video. Video, which shows Kinsey on the left, lying down with both hands in the air. The patient on the right ignores officers' commands. So he's following all their directions. So what they do? They shot him. Yeah, they shot him. Now, luckily, he lived. But they freaking shot him. He was following every direction, and they shot him. He was given no directions, and they shot him with a shotgun. Oh. She was following every direction, and she followed every direction, and look, this is, ha this is what happened. This is what happens when you follow their directions. 